Today we're going to add a decorative heart ladder to a series of bands. My name's Lazarus Redmayne, and this is thedutchie.com. Now, you need to start with a series of bands on your partner in some fashion or another. There are many ways to do this, and you can find some good ideas in the tutorial for this video. Once you have those bands, now you can start doing your heart ladder. Now, I like to have a bit of tension in these bands, gripping my partner's skin quite firmly before I do a heart ladder, because I like to have the tension here hold things in place instead of having to have the tension in my heart ladder. This allows a little more flexibility in how you lay the heart ladder down and allows you to create better curvature in your hearts instead of having to have very tense lines between them. But everybody will do it a little differently and having tension in your hearts is perfectly fine as well. Now, one way to start your heart ladder is to have your line attached somewhere above and be coming in to your crossing points first. And if that's the approach you want to take, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. You could take your bite, you could connect it to another line somewhere higher above using a lark's head or something like that. But let's assume you actually want to start a heart ladder on one of your bands. There's a way to do that as well. First, take your bite and run that bite underneath the top band like that. But just pull a little bit of that loop through because we're going to lock it to this line with a lark's head but we're going to have that lark's head be going upwards instead of what we often do, which is have it come down, follow the force of gravity. So pull your line through, then pull down on this bite to get it firmly underneath that line like this, and then tighten your lines by holding your bite in place and tightening them so you have the lark's head with the lines going straight up like this. I like to have a pretty good grip on that line so things stay in place. Now that you have this, now separate your lines and start to create those upper lobes of the heart. Now reach under the line beneath it and just drag those tails through. Now you'll notice that I'm holding the heart up here while I'm pulling this through so it doesn't deform what's going on up here. Once you have the tails pulled through, cross them. Cross them like this so the tails are split again, but you have that crossing point above the line that you're working with. Now we're going to replicate that same kind of shape by going in above and taking the line on top and going behind itself like that. And I'm just going to let it, let it be quite loose there for a moment while I do the same thing on the other side. Just kind of take your, pull your line up and hook that line through. You can see the shape starting to come together. Now, pull these a little closer, close the lobes so you get the basic shape, and now adjust the tension so that you get the shape you want. So I'll pull down on this one to have the same level of tension here as I have there, and I'll pull that over. And then I want this to be in a nicely in a line, so I'll pull this whole lobe over like that and adjust how it lays like this. So now I've got a really nice attractive heart here, and I'm in a position now to start doing the rest of my ladder down my partner's legs. And it's the same procedure. I'm going to protect these lines so it doesn't deform what I've done here, reach underneath the next line down, pull the tail through, cross one over top of the other, and I'm going to do it consistently. And I did the same thing. I took the one that was closest to me and I moved it over top of the one that was farthest from me, so I have the same crossing pattern here and here. Well, now that we have this in place, it's exactly the same thing again. So reaching in behind the line, hooking its own side, pulling that side through. Same thing on the other side. Just go under itself that and then adjust how things lay. So this is this node's in the appropriate place. This one has two, is too loose, so let's adjust the tension in that one. And now it's just a matter of repeating that same pattern for as many bands as we like. When you get to the end of your rope or you get to the end of your bands, simply tie it off however seems best to you. My name's Lazarus Redmayne. This has been How to Create a Heart Ladder. If you learned a little something, consider supporting us at thedutchie.com slash join.